morning, I'm Oli Franz, founder of Wild Edge, a professional expedition leader, winter mountain leader, and today I am here on highest mountain in England, about to climb Scaffold Pike. As you can see, quite amazingly, I've climbed this mountain a dozen times, but it looks like I've got this mountain to myself. So I'm up here at the National Trust Car Park, top end of uh, Wasdale, uh, Wasdale, sorry, up in the Wasdale Valley. And uh, I'm going to show you the route today. I've climbed this mountain plenty of times, but today I'm going to be running it. I'm training for a ultra marathon at the moment. So there's Scaffold Pike right behind me, just peeking through the clouds. But let's go and climb this mountain. So immediately, as you leave the car park, you're faced with two route options a bridge to the right or a path to the left. Stay to the left. There's no reason to. Uh, across the bridge and uh, then you'll be straight onto the trail um, it's a relatively easy path to follow all the way up scaffold bike I'm going to be pointing out all of the main junctions or points to notice as you ascend the mountain so you know exactly what to look out for soon after climbing maybe 100 meters or so reach the last gate for the open fells so out through this gate, can't miss it, and then you're continuing up for now, up alongside the left hand side of the river. Already we've gained some distance over West Water, doesn't it look beautiful this morning? Let's carry on. After ascending about 200 meters from the car park, you hit the first very slight obstacle and it's this uh, Lingmel Gill here, this river or stream which is flowing down through the valley here. So you do need to cross across this river in high waters. It can be a little bit tricky today. It's not been raining so much recently so nice and straightforward. Cross over this river, the path continues. It's very obvious on the other side so it's a good solid path, good stepping stones and, uh, and the route continues from there. And already from this point, you get a really nice view up towards the north facing cliffs of uh, Scarfell Pike on the left hand side. And then over to Scarfell, second highest mountain in England, on the right hand side, just at the top of this valley here. So we continue onwards and upwards. It's a nice route from here, good steps. And uh, yeah, very easy to stick to the path. There are numerous routes up Scaffell Pike. Uh, you can climb it from Langdale Valley, that's a long walk in. Climb it from Seathwaite, from a little village called Boot. They all kind of converge on this mountain. But certainly the route I'm doing today from Wasdale Head is by far the most popular. Uh, it's the most established path. And uh, it's the shortest and most direct. And it is the one I would recommend to those coming up here, trying it for the first time. Uh, it's a great route, very varied, spectacular views if you're lucky with the weather and uh, yeah, really a, a route to remember up here in the Lake District. So one thing to be aware of, climbing Scaffold Pike from, from Wasdale Head, the route is short and very direct, you're climbing around 900 metres in about two and a half miles. It is steep in places, so you need to have some good hill legs some good endurance to get up to the top. Take your time, have some breaks, taking the views. Slowly but surely, you'll get there. So once you reach about 520 meters above sea level, you reach an important junction and you've got a path to the left, path to the right. And these are both valid options to climb up uh, Scaffold Pike. The path on the left takes you up past a place called Hollow Stones and I would say 70-80% of people climbing Scaffold Pike use that route. Um, the route on the right hand side I personally think is more interesting and more enjoyable and it tends to be a bit quieter so it is actually the one I would recommend and that takes you up to a place called Mickledore which is the little dip between Scaffell Pike and Scaffell. And now this route does involve some very easy scrambling. So if you really don't want to scramble, if you want to keep it nice and straightforward, take the left-hand route 
or polo stones. It's a well-established path. If you uh, want to get off the beaten track slightly, do a little bit of scrambling and do a bit of a loop around the summit, I would recommend uh, the right-hand route or Mickledore. There's a couple of brief stages where the path seems to fade slightly. Just uh, look out for the cairns, they'll point you in the right direction. And then you reach the most obvious stepping stones along the way. Just a bit of a cold wind, a bit of drizzle coming in, so it was time to layer up. But it's February after all. Continue on up to Mickledore. So as you're approaching Mickledore, the, the pass between the two mountains, um, you do need to cross a short scree slope. Um, and this is where people could potentially go wrong if it's poor visibility. The thing to remember is stay over to the right hand side of this scree slope. That's where the path is, although it seems indistinct. Uh, and this will lead you directly up to, uh, up to Mickledore. So I'm up in uh, the little scrambling section which leads up to Mickledore. I'm just stopping here briefly because I know that I'm out of a wind right now, but as soon as I get up top, it's gonna be pretty windy. Um, you will notice that there's some sections up here a little bit icy today. It is, it is winter still. Um, so if you are attempting this in, in winter, do be aware that, uh, that it could be snowy and icy up here and it comes a different piece. In which case, if you're not comfortable with that or you're not prepared for that, I would recommend the Hollow Stones route. Uh, in summer conditions, this is an easy scramble. And there are sections where you need to use your hands, um, where, where you need to be confident on the rock. Although it's not super exposed, you've just got this kind of narrow gully here. Most of it is walkable, but as I say, some sections where you need to use your hands, you do need to feel uh, quite confident, confident on this terrain. Um, but yeah, we make our way up here. Once I get up here, I'm gonna take a left and, uh, and then head up towards the summit. I'll try my best to film and speak to camera up there, but I know it's gonna be very windy. But right now I'm enjoying this little, uh, this little gully here with the ice, it looks quite impressive. And uh, yeah, we'll head on, head on up to the top. So once you reach Mickledore, just that point behind me, uh, you're at just shy of 850 meters. As I say, you turn left, and the path from there is going to take you up towards Scarfell Pike. Uh, that stretch is quite rocky, quite rubbly. The path is indistinct once again, but look out for the cairns. They're going to keep you on the right track. Uh, the summit is up there. It's about 120, 130 meters climbing from here. Uh, pretty straightforward. The gradient is not too intense from this point. So we'll make our way on up to the summit. I know I'm going to get hammered by the wind as soon as I step up here. And uh, yeah, onwards to the top of uh, top of England. Uh, of the conditions and the time of the year. Lucky me. So I'm now making my way down from uh, Scaffold Pike Summit. And uh, on the descent, I'm taking the Hollow Stones route, uh, which I mentioned earlier, which is really the main route back to Westdale Head Car Park the route that most people use and you do need to be careful as you're leaving Scarfell Pike Summit there are numerous routes off the summit in all different directions heading down different valleys all those stones it, uh, it leaves in a northwesterly direction from the summit so make sure you're checking your map check your GPS make sure you're, you're on the right track once you're on the right track it's a very easy path to follow. Follow the first few cairns off the summit, and then, uh, and then the path only grows and widens. So I'm now back at the point where the paths meet. The right-hand path being the Mickledore path, the 
left hand path being the hollow stones and uh, from here it's the exact same route as I took up back down the mountain cross across the uh, the river all the way back down to the car park so thanks very much for watching this I hope you found it useful and insightful Scaffold Pike is an absolutely amazing mountain you've got to come and do it um, it's not to be underestimated and of course you've got to think about the weather conditions but this is a brilliant route would highly recommend it well worth the trip round to Wisedale Head uh, so enjoy your adventures on the mountain in the meantime I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel there's lots more content to come uh, lots more UK content and uh, from my overseas adventures and expeditions so please subscribe have a watch and I look forward to seeing you on the next video now I think it's time for breakfast.